Hi everyone, Budget Prepper here. Today I'm going to do a product review on the Nesco dehydrator and also on the uh, Nesco Jumbo Jerky Works um, Beef Jerky Kit. And uh, the Jerky Works kit comes with, looks like a caulking gun, it comes with some different tubes so you can make different kinds of, you know, different shapes of jerky. It comes with uh, eight packs of their uh, spice and cure that you mix in with the meat and each one of those packs is good for one pound of uh, meat and I'm going to use 90% um, meat um, hamburger meat. Uh, the dehydrator itself uh, is a has comes with five trays it's 700 watts um, they say you don't have to you don't have to rotate the trays and I did try this out once before with um, some apple slices and it worked really well without any rotation. Um, it has a fan, some of them have fans on the bottom, this one comes from the top and so it blows down and uh, I'll show you this a little bit. comes with some trays for, that's for making fruit roll-ups and so you purify I guess the fruit and then, or liquefy the fruit and puree it or whatever and then pour it in the trays. Um, it also comes with these little screens that you put on top of the trays and that's for if you want to dry out stuff that's going to be brittle or fine particles like spices and such. It comes with two each of those. Then it comes with five trays. These are the standard dehydrating trays. And uh, they stack up. Five it comes with a box. You can um, also stack it up as high as ten if you want to buy five additional trays. It also comes with a uh, cookbook, if you will. It shows you step by step pretty much how to do everything. Um, I know I ordered this jerky kit, and I will need that. Uh, I call it a caulking gun, whatever it is, the jerky gun. You you will need that to s squeeze them out evenly onto the trays. But if you don't want to keep ordering these um, spice kits, it does tell you how to mix up your own in here, and you can uh, experiment with make your own recipes for that. Here's a top view of the uh, dehydrator, the Nesco dehydrator. Um, it comes with a variable temperature gauge here, and a lot of them, some of them don't actually. Just you just turn them on, and it has to just run until the whatever's in it dehydrates. And um, I actually tried one before this. It was a, I think it was an Oster brand. I got it at Walmart. It was about 40 bucks, and it the fan would come on and off, on and off, and it took overnight to just dehydrate uh, some banana slices and um, this one did apple slices in just uh, I don't know four to six hours so much faster <clears throat> and much better setup and so I took that one back right after I tried the first time and uh, spent about fifteen dollars more on this one and ordered it and uh, been very happy with it I'll put a link on the underneath the video to show you where to order one of these. Anyway, it comes with um, different settings for jerky and meats and fish and fruits and veggies and nuts, seeds, herbs and spices. And so it's pretty easy to figure out what you're doing on this. Okay, I'm ready to get started. What I'm using for my meat again is uh, there's a pound of hamburger meat. If you can see that, it says it's 90-10, so I guess that's 90% meat. 10% fat, and that's what the instructions call for because it says the the more um, fat content that's in your meat, the quicker it'll spoil or become rancid. So you want to eliminate as much of the fat as possible. All right, here we go. Start mixing up my meat and my spices. Again, I'm using one pack for each pound, and I've got two pounds of meat in there.
Now I have all my meat and cure and spices mixed up from the packs and uh, the meat's ready to put into the tube and if you can see that I've got the uh, tip on there that's going to make the two narrow flat uh, pieces of jerky when I shoot it out of the tube here. Um, a hint when you're mixing the spices in those packets into the meat, it would be smart to take it and put it into a bowl and crush it with a fork because it kind of clumps up inside the packs and I didn't do that and I just threw the clumps into the meat and as I'm mixing it took forever to break it back up into, into granular form and mix well into the meat. All right, now it's time to uh, squeeze this out onto the trays. Let's see how I can do this. I don't know how good I'm going to be at this. That's not too bad. Kind of like caulking. Okay, I need to cut the ends off here. Knife or something. Huh. Live and learn.